Dumpty dum dum dum. Where's the fire? Why the hoopla? Hoopla? Who says hoopla? Just thought I'd try something new. Why are you in such a hurry? America's favorite cartoon beaver, Billy Go Boom Boom! Today is the 500th episode of the best cartoon ever! And it starts in 29 minutes! Harv, I really appreciate you helping me home with my books. But I don't need any help. But thanks for asking! <laughs> you at school. Oh, yeah, sorry. I wanted to get home in time. 33 seconds. Just enough time for some Billy Go Boom Boom trivia. Ask me anything. Uh, Harv, why do you care so much about Billy Go Boom Boom? Why do I care? Sabrina, Billy is more than a cartoon. Billy is my life. I count on Billy. He symbolizes the child inside all of us. Uh, sorry, no more time. It's T-minus Billy. Your old pal, Pumas the Cloud. And this is the Pumas the Cloud Cartoon Cavalcade. Now that Billy Go Boom Boom has been canceled, we're super duper proud to present our new show, <laughs> Trudy the Trombone Chicken. <laughs> what? This can't be right. Chickens can't play trombones? They don't have lips. Harvey, relax. What about Billy? They canceled Billy! Harvey, you okay? Harv, bud, you gotta snap out of this funk. What's wrong? Midlife crisis. Harvey, you're 12. You know, I thought Billy was gonna be there forever. You know what this means, don't you? Um, uh, new sheets? No. Goodbye, youth. I mean, soon we'll be moving into a new stage of our lives. Junior high school is right around the corner. And once we turn that corner, we won't have time for the cool, fun stuff that I like to do. Like what? Putting peanut butter inside people's gym socks. Belching the melodies of new wave hits of the 80s. One day, you're putting your teeth under your pillow for the tooth fairy. And before you know it, putting them in a glass by your bed. <sighs> What's this, drama king? Mementos of my youth. Please. See this? My toenail. It fell off the time I kicked the soccer ball too hard. But I made it through. And this, a wad of gum that Zach Tupper smushed into my hair. But I made it through. What's this? Oh, that's Mort, my old imaginary friend. He's the one who helped me make it through. You had an imaginary friend? Like one you talked to? Yeah. Mort got me through all the milestones in my life. Potty training, that first co-ed birthday party, the realization that my parents were actually alien cannibals in disguise. Huh? Luckily, that last one turned out to be a false alarm. And did Mort talk back? Yep, Mort was the best. Until I woke up one morning and he was gone, disappeared. Sometimes I wish with all my heart that good old Mort would come back and help me get through times like these. Hey, um, going my way, Racer X? Hop on. Uncle Quigley, Harvey says he used to have an imaginary friend. So? So, what's the deal? Is he nuts or what? <laughs> of course not. Lots of kids have imaginary friends. They're perfectly normal. Then why didn't I have one? Not all kids do. Usually they show up when children are feeling a little nervous or alone. They stick around a while and then leave when their usefulness has ended. <laughs> Imaginary friend? Harvey is looped? He's potty, governor. The boy's gone round the bend. He is not. Uncle Quig says they show up when they're needed. Harvey needs him. 
So you're going to magically arrange a reunion between Harvey and Mort? Sounds kind of fishy. Mm -mm. If anyone can yank Harvey out of his funk, it's his good old imaginary friend. Hey, where's the spooky jar? Zelda hid it from you. Why? You have to ask? You've used it one too many times for frivolous reasons. Whitening your teeth, tying your shoes, changing the channels. What? I couldn't find the remote. Where is it? Nothing doing, kid. Of course, they have entrusted moi with its secret location, but being the highly trustworthy guardian that I am... I'll scratch your belly. It's under the sink. What makes them think I wouldn't have looked under the sink? It's wedged behind the cleaning detergent. Diabolical. Time to raise some spirits. Ahem. First things first. <sighs> Gotta stick to my end of the bargain. Whoa! <laughs> you said you'd scratch me, not tickle me. Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I'd hate to interrupt all the fun and frolic after selflessly creating a spell for you! Here I come, sorry! <laughs> Spells inside, I'm out of time. I cannot recite to you my rhyme. Make it up to you. Hey, Harp. You know, I was thinking. I heard that if you scream someone's name three times at the top of your lungs while flying through the air on a skateboard on Thursdays at 4.29 p.m., that the person's name you scream magically appears in front of you. Really? That's what I've heard. Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan! Well, that didn't work very well. No, I was kind of thinking you could ask for Mort. Hey, that's a great idea! But he's imaginary. So? So I'm almost a teenager. Teenagers don't have imaginary friends. Who says? Hmm, psychiatrists, I guess. Look, I know what you're doing. Actually, I got no idea what you're doing. Humor me. Do the jump and call out for Mort. Mort! 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 That was cool! So, Harv, what do you want to do first? Swallow live goldfish, paint our bodies with mayonnaise, eat paste? Let's do it all! Yeah! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey! Da -da -da -da. You're welcome! <laughs> Darling, we're gonna do wonders with your hair! We could do it up, or we could do it down. Side to side, or back to front. We got your pompadour, or my personal favorite, <gasps> the Jean Luc Picard. <gasps> <laughs> Easy, honey. Don't throw a tizzy. Could you please stop that? Fine. You don't have to tell me 114 times. <laughs> nice hair, Spellman. Is the seat taken? I'm sorry, Jem, but my friend Mort is sitting here. No savesies, Harvey. I'm rich. I'm allowed to sit anywhere. <gasps> wow, this is freaky. Let's have some fun with her, shall we? Hello, students of Greendale. I have an important announcement to make. I like to sniff my armpits and make tea with dirty socks. <laughs> <laughs> make him stop! That's mean! More play off. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? So, 
Harvey. Are you feeling a little happier now? You know, Sabs, you were right. I shouldn't worry about growing up and stuff. I'm glad to hear that Mort has helped you get past this difficult hurdle in your life. Get past? No, you don't understand. I shouldn't worry about growing up because I don't have to. With Mort here, I can have all the fun I want. Come on, Mort. Time for science class. Phasers locked on target. Oh, yeah. Really cool. And who can tell me what this bone is? The tailbone? The tailbone! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kinkle, is there something funny? Uh, no, Mr. Crampton. Mr. Crampton! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Kinkle, why don't you tell me what this bone is? Um... Uh, that bone is the, uh, the... Oh, now I remember. Uh, that's the trombone. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trombone! <laughs> uh, Mr. Kinkle, huh? did you read your assignments last night? <laughs> Actually, I, uh... Well, to tell you the truth, uh... <laughs> hmm. Okay, which little prankster wants detention? <laughs> that wasn't very funny. Someone could have gotten hurt. Oh, what do you know? You've got cooties! I most certainly do not. Whatever they are. Come on, Sabs, lighten up. I'll lighten up when you grow up, Harvey. <laughs> oh, don't lose your head over this. Get it? <laughs> don't lose your head. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're just having fun, Sabrina. I... I'm sorry. So what's next? What are we going to do now? What do you think? English. English? English? Your English sounds fine to me. Let's go have some fun. I don't know, Mort. I think I better go to class. Come on, it's me, Mort, your best bud in the world. I dare you. I double doozy paloozy dare you. Did you say double doozy paloozy? Just like the old days. Well, I can't back out of the paloozy. Guess it's time to have some fun. There, done. Look, Mort, it's you. That's great. Now check out mine. Cool. Uh, that's me. Mort, that's not paint, is it? Sure is. Oh, wait, forgot to add your name. Mort, no. I'll get in trouble. Come on, Mort. Ah! Oops! Uh. <laughs> What's with the toothbrush? It's to scrub the wall clean. And I got three weeks' detention. Harvey, Mort's a big three-year-old. It's time to move on. He's holding you back. Why do you say that? This is all my fault. I should have never brought you back. Sabrina, you're killing me here. Oh, see how prettily I die? I'm going into the light. <gasps> Grandma, is that you? I bet it, Mort. Okay, Mortimer, you've served your purpose. Harvey's out of his funk. I think it's time for you to go. Go where? Wherever. I don't care. You just have to go. But I don't want to go. Harvey and I are having fun. Can't you see that? Mm. I've got Saturday detention? <laughs> Fun! Fun? Are you crazy? We get to spend the entire day together. Sabrina, you want to come too? Oh, yeah, sure. That's how I want to spend my Saturday afternoon. Great! Let me help you out. Be right back. This will just take a sec. Whoa! <laughs> See you in detention.
attention. Come on, Harv. Oh, hey, I got a great idea. Let's play Name That Tune with armpit noises. That's it. I've got to get rid of him once and for all. <laughs> Oh, it's so great to be back. You and me are best friends forever. Nice hair, Smellman. Welcome to Saturday Detention. Here are the rules. No talking, no walking, no standing, no stretching, no fidgeting, no raising of hands, no asking of questions, no laughing. No moving, no reading, no looking at each other, no sighing, no crying, no pitter-patter, no chitter-chatter, no, nothing! Now, any questions? Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your Saturday. <laughs> what a loser! So what do you want to do, huh? Oh, I got it. Let's have a drooling contest. No, wait, let's photocopy our belly buttons. No, wait. No, wait. You're going to get us all in trouble again. Harvey, please control your friend. Oh, now I see what's happening. It's a doozy palooser convention. It's not funny, Mort. Sabrina's my friend. And she's right. We can't keep behaving like we're kids. But we are kids. <laughs> go, go. Some of us more than others. Look, Mort, I thought it was going to be hard to move on, difficult to face junior high school. But having you around for the last 24 hours, I've realized it's harder to go back. What? You don't like me anymore? <laughs> you want me to go? <laughs> You're seeing another figment? <laughs> Mort, don't cry. Please stop. <gasps> Look, it's just... Am I going to be happy being 40 and putting worms down the backs of people's shirts? <laughs> Sounds like heaven. I know you think it does, and that's what makes you special. That's why you were my best friend. I just have to move on. I just have to move on. No, I do. No, I do. Stop imitating me. Stop imitating me. Stop it! Stop it! I think he's telling you he wants you to go. We're gonna be together forever! No, Mort. I'm sorry. Come on, don't stop now! Let's have some fun! Absolutely, positively not! I dare you! I challenge you to a duel of dares! A double doozy paloozy dare! <gasps> well, I guess I can't argue with that. <gasps> Will you excuse us a moment? What are you doing? He was leaving. Let him go. But I can't. He double doozy paloozied me. I know. But when are you going to grow up? Sabrina, I can't back out of a paloozy. You don't understand. Let's get it on. Hit me with your best shot. And in this corner, the challenger wearing purple polka dots and weighing in at 1,854 pounds. And in this corner, the story's protagonist from Greendale Middle School, Harvey Kickle! <laughs> Weighing in at... A Henway. What's a Henway? Oh, about three or four pounds. Huh? Okay, Harv, me first. Your dare comes in two parts. This'll bring the old Harvey back. First, I double doozy paloozy dare you to go to the school lunchroom and guzzle the entire week's supply of creamed spinach. Not a problem. <gasps> God, mission accomplished. That was easy. Is that all you got? Part two, I double doozy paloozy dare you to Kiss Sabrina on the lips! Huh? Ew! No! Don't make me do it! Ew, no! Don't make him do it! Double doozy paloozy! Sabrina, close your eyes. This will all be over soon. Yeah. I'm going to have nightmares! Okay, Mort. Payback time. Bring it on! I dare you. I double doozy paloozy dare you to 
let me grow up. What? You mean... You've been an important part of my life. I wouldn't trade our past for anything. If you were ever my friend, you've got to let me go. I understand. But can I ask you a favor first? Anything. Can I have a hug goodbye? I'm gonna miss you, little guy. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! I'm sorry about that whole kiss thing. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too bad. No, I mean, yeah, but you know, I just thought about baseball and it was fine. A little cream spinach there, but I got it. Well, thanks for showing me that it was time to move on. No problem, friend? Friend. Well, uh, bye. Yeah, bye. Dum de dum dum dum. Twenty four seconds. Hey, not bad, Harvey. You're really improving. <sighs> yeah, but I'm still not as good as as you. Nobody's as good a swimmer as Sabrina. If it wasn't for her, most of these trophies wouldn't even be here. Come on, Harvey's doing great. He's a cinch to become the school's new junior lifeguard. I hope so. It's been my dream ever since that very special episode of Baywatch. Ooh, the one where they actually went in the water? But I still have to pass the test tomorrow. And there's a lot of other kids trying out too. But you've been training for weeks! Still, maybe I'd better swim ten more laps and do a hundred one-arm push-ups. Then we can go load up on junk food till we puke. All right! Hilda. Oh, boy, are your eyes bloodshot. You should see them from in here. I've been up to my ears in homework. <gasps> wow, you meant it literally. Oh, oh no, it can't be. Hey, I think the key word here, Hilda, is decaf. Zelda, it's cliche week. <gasps> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. <gasps> Funny, I had this sudden urge to roller skate. What's going on? What's cliche week? It happens once every 11 years. It's got to do with the alignment of the planets or something. <gasps> For one whole week, whenever a witch or warlock says a cliche, it happens to them. <laughs> you mean if I said something like, Slugoff makes my skin crawl? Ah, make it stop! We can't. But don't worry, it's only temporary. But Harvey's coming to walk me to school! Wear a sweater. Hey, I just heard a big storm is headed this way. They say it's gonna rain cats. <laughs> don't tell me, it's cliche week. Uh, hi. Hi, Sabrina. Uh, what's with your skin? Oh, uh, this? It's, um, a new face cream, massage in a bottle. Oh, cool. All right, now, there's only one slot available for Junior Lifeguard, so whoever does the best today gets it. Any questions? Coach? Yes, I am. But if I play my cards right, I'll be head of the athletic department. Okay, now for the first test. Each of you has been assigned a volunteer victim to rescue. When I blow the whistle, you throw them a life preserver, then pull them to safety. Got it? <laughs> Give it up, Kinkle. You couldn't lifeguard at a bird bath. <laughs> Harvey's just gotta get this. It means so much to him. Yeah, I'd hate to think he sat through Baywatch for nothing. His first aid part of this test. You ought to watch Kinkle, you might learn something. Yeah, we'll just see about that. Lucky throw, Kinkle! Ha! 
<laughs> hey, did you see that? Slugloaf cut his rope. I sure did. Don't worry. Excellent. Heck of a toss, Kinko. <laughs> Now remember, these CPR dummies are supposed to be drowning victims, and you're using mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing to inflate their lungs. Harvey's dummy is inflating. He's going to win. I just know it. <laughs> Not if I've got anything to say about it. Huh? Slugloaf did it again. He's trying to sabotage Harvey. <gasps> <gasps> Hey, Kinkle, you're supposed to revive your dummy, not kill it. <laughs> and revive it, he will. <gasps> huh? huh? Boy, I'm good. This is the last and most important part of the test. Each of you must save a victim from drowning in a simulated rescue at sea. In order to make it authentic, this wave-making machine will duplicate high tide in Costa Rica. All right, who's gonna be first? Good man, Kinkle. Uh, oh, help, um, uh, help. Congratulate its new junior lifeguard, Harvey Kinko! Sorry about that, slug baby. Now, how'd that happen? Primo dive, Sabrina. Thanks. Thought I'd show off a little for Harvey's first official day of lifeguarding. Uh-oh. He's already run into a school of man-eating sharks. And we'd love you to be our Synchronized Swimming Club's exclusive lifeguard. A lifeguard for synchronized swimming? Oh, yes. Why, if one of us got out of sync, it could be fatal. Oh, bruh. Time for a little pest control. And with you around, we would be so safe. Yes, but how safe would he be? Hey, Sabrina. Hi, Chloe. Spellman, that drowned rat look is so you. You know, Jan, I'm surprised to see all of you here, especially with that 10 for 1 shoe sale going on at the mall. 10 for 1 shoe sale? It's been real, Harv. Girls? Hey, Sabrina. That was a great dive you did. You make it look so easy. Oh, Harvey, you do go on. And please, do go on. <laughs> I mean it. You're the best diver I've ever seen. Until now? Whoa, did you see that? And off the middle board. <laughs> Not bad, I suppose, if you like showy. Who is she? Oh, her name's Dorsa LaFin. She just transferred here from Riverdale. She's training for the state championships. She's the greatest diver and swimmer I've ever seen. Gotta admit, she is good. <laughs> hey, how about we all get some ice cream after school? Yeah, sure. And we can go check out that new Scott Pink CD you wanted, Chloe. Okay, great. Here's a better idea. How about I take all your brains out and sell them for scrap? Sounds Whatever. great. Whatever. Hi, Chloe. How's it going? Hey, Dorsala. These are my friends, Sabrina and Harvey. Well, look at the time. Aren't we late for? Hey, you don't have a towel. You'll catch a chill. Hey! Well, thank you, Harvey. Oh, man. 
where are you going? So she thinks she can dive, eh? I'll show her a real dive. I'm going off the high board. Not until now. Harvey! Sabrina's going off the high board! What? Nobody goes off the high board. Does anyone else hear music? Sabrina! Sabrina, are you serious? Oh, you mean about the dive? Please, I do it all the time. <gasps> Sabrina, are you okay? <gasps> What's the matter? I don't want to talk about it. I've got to meet Harvey outside. Man, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. You want fries with that? Harvey? And he didn't show up to walk me to school today. I mean, he's a lifeguard, Chloe. Maybe he had a swimming accident. He could be home in bed, hurt, delirious with pain, calling my name. Hey, Sabrina! Well... One out of four isn't bad. Harvey, are you okay? I was so worried when you didn't show up this morning. Oh, darn, I, I forgot to tell you. Dorsala has a swim practice before class, and it's my job as junior lifeguard to be there. Oh, of course duty comes first. Well, tomorrow's Saturday, so maybe you'll have time to... Sorry, Sabrina, no can do. Since school is closed, I'm meeting Dorsala at the lake tomorrow to help her practice. Gotta go. Can you believe that? Hey, you helped him become a lifeguard, remember? Anyway, Dorsal is not that bad. You ought to get to know her. And she is a great swimmer. Thanks for the suggestion. Let me guess. Something's wrong. You can say that again. I could, but what would be the point? I used to be the best swimmer in school, but then Dorsala came along. The only way I could be better than she is is if I could... It's still cliche week, don't say... Swim like a fish. <laughs> that! A cat babysitting a fish. Oh, the irony. Come on, Salem, it's not funny. Change me back. Sorry, I can't undo a cliche week spell. It's a union rule. Oh, great. So how long am I supposed to stay like this? Hard to say. Clichés spoken out of jealousy can last a long time. Well, there's got to be some way to change me back. Maybe Hilda Rizalda knows how. Yeah, but they're at the mall. Great, let's go. You want me to take you to the mall? See, I'd go there myself, but I have this one teeny problem. I'm a fish in a jar! All right, all right. Cool down or you'll end up as an hors d'oeuvre. Nope, they're not in there. Wait, there's that shoulder bag I wanted. Great, then all you'll need is a shoulder to carry it on. Oh, right. Huh, never mind. Let's try the stalls. These could be Hilda's. Check them out. Bah, sure. What do you care? You're underwater. You okay? <sighs> yes, but after that experience, I'm hoping for amnesia. Cool, a sushi bar. Woo! Feels like you've gained a few pounds. Yeah, but it's all water weight. Look, I can cover more ground if I scout around alone. You can't just leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll hide you. Don't go anywhere. 
The only place I'm going is crazy if I don't get out of this jar pretty soon. How do fish do this all day? There they are! Hey, guys! <gasps> mm -hmm. <gasps> huh? <gasps> Sabrina, I couldn't... Sabrina? <gasps> oh, no! Sabrina! Sabrina? Where are you? Hmm. Sabrina! Thank heavens you're okay. I won't be. Unless you put me back in the water. What? No, oh, right. Sorry. Gotta cover something. Hurry! I'll be back. Hey, I'm busy here. Er, uh, I, uh, well, would you look at the time? Vince, don't fail me now. Again. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can use some help, Salem! <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. I mentioned that. Oh, well, uh, Sabrina's a fish, and she just went down the drain. Whoa! Help me! Help! The aqueduct! Where could she be? Help! There she blows! Zelda, come on! Water, water, blues, and greens turn us into submarines! Oh, man. And I really hate water. You're doing great, Dorsula. Ow! Something bit me! <laughs> You're going the wrong way! Something attacked you? Well, if it involves water, I'll handle it. <gasps> Unfortunately, today's Saturday, and <laughs> it's my day off. Salem, is that you? Go on, run, you lily-livered landlubber! Salem, what happened to you? I said that if I could find Sabrina, I'd be happy as a clam. Next thing I know, I'm a giant bivalve. Go figure. Speaking of which, has anyone seen Sabrina? No. no. Then it's time to dive, dive! I can't believe I actually bit her! I just know I'm going to feel horribly guilty about this. Help! <laughs> <laughs> When you make a wish out of jealousy during cliche week, you just have to let it run its course. But you can't leave me like this. I could be in here forever. Nah, 200, 300 years tops. Hmm, let me check something. 
Ah, here it is. The only cure. Whenever jealousy makes you a fish, the one that you care for must give you a kish. A kish? <sighs> Sorry, piece of dust. Well, that's just great. That'd be Harvey. But how do I get him to kish, I mean kiss a fish? I got an idea, but we'll need Chloe's help. In here, hurry! Where's the emergency? Who needs professional help? There's a loaded question. Not us, the fish. The fish? It's Sabrina's pet fish. It needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, and we didn't know who else to call. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth for a fish? It's drowning. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth for a fish that's drowning? The water's very dense, and it can't breathe. I'm sorry. I'd like to help, but I'm uh, allergic to fish. Better call someone else. But the fish will die. How about if I just buy Sabrina a new fish? She'll never know the difference. Harvey Kinkle. You are a lifeguard. You took an oath to save lives, all lives, and that includes fish. I didn't take any oath. Well, you must have said something. Hilda, it's obviously too much for a junior lifeguard. What we should have done is called a senior lifeguard. He'd help us. You know, you're right. I'll get the phone book. Okay, okay. Well, that's not exactly the look I dreamed about for my first kiss, but it'll do. Uh, hi, Sabrina. Hey, what happened to your fish? I put her in the other room, in thinner water. Thank you, Harvey, for saving her. You're my hero. I am? Cool. Harvey, I want to apologize. For what? For being jealous of Dorsala and the time you two were spending together. And because you didn't think I was the greatest swimmer you ever saw anymore. Sabrina, Dorsala's great. I mean, she's training for the state championships. But you'll always be my favorite swimmer. Thanks, Harvey. Walk you to school Monday morning? But what about Dorsala's swimming practice? Oh, now I was only helping her out till her coach got back into town. But he's back now. In that case, see you Monday morning. Great. You know, Sabrina, did you ever try to get to know Dorsala? Well, no, I guess not. She's really pretty nice. Matter of fact, I bet you two would get along great if you give her a chance to get to know you. You're right. <sighs> I just can't believe how low I sank. I mean... I've been jealous before, but I've never actually bit someone's toes. Jealousy is a very powerful emotion. I owe you all an apology. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. That's all right, Sabrina. But we accept anyway. Personally, I'm not going to worry my pretty little head about it. Oh, no! Let me rephrase that. <laughs> dum dee dum 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 Starshine, did we have oh. a nice sweepy weepy? It was great till the achy wakey by the witty kitty. Sorry, kid, but I know you don't want to miss school today. Today's the day you put the sis in the sis boomba. Yeah. Yipes! JB Cheerleader Rush Week! What to wear? What to wear? Huh? This? No, this? No, uh uh, no, uh -huh. no. Oh, coat rack, cat rack, what's the difference? Oh, good eggs, you girls went shopping. Hilda did. She needed special eggs for a spell. Uh, a, a spelling bee. I'm in charge of refreshments. Everyone wanted eggs. <laughs> well, I'm darn proud of you girls. You've been making a real effort to not take the easy way out by using witchcraft. You're showing real maturity. Oh, no. And setting a fine example for Sabrina. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Himself? <laughs> ah, the witty little barbs. Salem, where's Sabrina? She's gonna be late for school again. Morning, Aunt Hilda and Zelda, Uncle Quigley. No time for breakfast. Grab something on the way. Have a nice day. Bye, all peace. Well, well, well. And what's our favorite little witchling hiding behind her back? <laughs> it's it's a fashion statement. Right now, it's saying, save me! This thing just landed on my head. <laughs> Sabrina, you're not seriously going to wear that to school, are you? You'll give the entire family a bad <sighs> name. And that's not easy when eight generations have been burned at the stake. Well, then what am I supposed to wear? I've got to find some way to get the JV cheerleaders to notice me. This is induction week. 
When the Junior Varsity cheerleaders pick a lowly few from our class to audition for next year's JV squad, God, this could make or break my whole junior high career. Ah, and I thought it was just a funny-looking hat. It's more than a hat. It's a statement about individuality. It says, hey, you cheerleaders, look at me. I am Sabrina Spellman, my own person. It sets me apart. It's tomorrow's look today. And for once, I'll have the jump on that snobby Gemini stone. Dear Sabrina, as you know, that hat was the last straw for me. You are way too cool. I can't compete with you, so I have given up. You deserve to be a cheerleader, not me. I've moved to Alaska, where I'm working on the pipeline. Well, gotta go. I'm about to be eaten by a polar bear. All the best. Yeah, yeah, very touching. The point is, why do you need a gimmick? Why can't you just be yourself? Uncle Quigley, you are so naive. Junior high is not about being yourself. It's about peer pressure and trendy advertising and all the things that make America great. It's not what I think of myself that matters. It's what everyone else thinks of me. Ah, uh, consider me enlightened. And if I don't even get the chance to try out for the cheerleaders, I'll be spending another year as honorary mayor of Wienerville. How about a little help here? How about hmm. the spooky jar? A little magic? Sorry, Sabrina. But until your mother gets back from whatever lost city she's digging up, I'm in charge. And I promised her no magic from your dad's side of the family. Besides, you don't need witchcraft to know that cool doesn't come from a hat. Trust me. <sighs> cool? Wow. Oh, wow! Jen, that hat is so awesome! <laughs> what a rad luck! You are so cool, even for a seventh grader! Wow! That gym sure has some cool hat, huh, Sabrina? It's like a statement about individuality. It sets her apart. It says, hey, you cheerleaders, I'm Ooh. Jim Stone. I see the hat, Chloe. Thanks. Just look at her kissing up to those privileged pom-pom pumping powder puffs like she's already a member. It's so ick. Ugh, you're right. She's being like a total and complete phony. And, and she's, she's so, so good, good at, at it. it. <sighs> Face it, Chloe. The JVs don't even know I'm alive. What chance have I got? Bye -bye. Don't forget, my daddy's yacht, next Friday night. Oh, hello, huh? Smellman. So <laughs> glad to see you've made bail again this Ooh. year. Oh my gosh, Sabrina, they're coming this way. This is like the most socially significant moment of your entire life. Whatever you do, <gasps> look cool, but look cool. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! Oh. Sabrina? Oh my gosh, Callista Ultra Brilliant, the most socially prominent girl in the eighth grade, is actually talking to you. Oh, this is so cool, I can't stand it. Uh, did I just say all of that out loud? And in superfluous English, Sabrina, a heads up to you. We're considering granting you the, well, some might call it privilege of auditioning for next year's squad. <laughs> we have just one opening for a new member. Most of the squad have to repeat the year. Being a social icon can put such a damper in study time. It's down to a choice between you and Gemstone. Oh. And I mean, let's be honest, Gem is the heavy favorite. Especially since she gave us all cell phones and matching leather jackets. I'm sure you understand. How could I not? However, as part of our SCIPSO, or Snowball's Chance in Palm Springs Outreach Program, you still have one eensy weensy, remote, pathetically small chance of being chosen. No matter how unlikely. You hear that? You're as good as in! It's all about class, Sabrina. We'll be making our final decision this week. Until then, we'll be watching both you and Jem carefully to decide which of you has the... R-I-G-H-D! Hey, circus folk, cool. So, Sabrina, wanna help me put mashed potatoes in Pie's gym shoes? Ow! Hey, that hurt. <laughs> Harvey can be so droll. As if I would ever do such an uncool thing. Cha! Put mashed potatoes in someone's gym shoes, right? Okay, how about cream corn like last Ugh. time? Stick with what you know, I always say. Ow! Huh? Hey, since when did I become Harvey the human soccer ball? Well, Sabrina, don't huh? let us get in the way of you and, uh, Pele. 
Until next time, remember, we'll be watching... Y-O-U! And I don't think they even noticed the sock on your head. Don't! <laughs> They've got to pick me or my life is over. No, no, no! Ow! Hey! Thanks, Walnut. No, thank you. Suit yourself. <laughs> yeah! Ow! Sorry, Sidus's. That's okay. It made me forget how much the walnut hurt. Hey! Aren't you Sabrina Spellman? It's me, Norma Alpha Linear from the first grade. Norma? Holy cannoli, it is you. What are you doing here? Just transferred. Gee, Sabrina, I haven't seen you in 6.3 years. Hey, remember when you used to eat paste? Sure. Want some? Ugh, no thanks. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> well, I see that you're just as colorful as ever. Thanks. I like to think so. How about raisins? Why, hello, Spellman. Who's your new little friend? <laughs> Norma Alpha Lydia, glad to meet you. I'm not new. Me and what? Sabrina go way back. Hey, Sabrina, remember when Miss Beezer wouldn't excuse you to go to the party until it was too late? Yo, Très charmant. I'm sure we'd love to hear the rest of the story. Perhaps next time. Perhaps... Ah, uh, so sure. horrible! Her teeth, horrible. They had no glistening sparkle. I, I don't feel well. Oh, oh no! Don't look. It's terrible. So not sparkly. Ah, oh, Sabrina, I see you've met our new arrival. Oh, how fortunate. Oh, yeah. We're old friends. Marvelous. You know, I was going to ask Gemstone to be Norma's student guide, but since you two are already acquainted, who better to show her the ropes? Hey, great! You mean... Exactly. For the next week, I want you and Sabrina to spend every waking minute together. <laughs> <laughs> I promised I'd take them to the zoo. Hmm, looks like I made the air holes too big. <gasps> but Norma's my friend. She's loyal and trustworthy and fun to be with. Mm-hmm, so's my beagle. Sabrina, you have just got to get rid of her. She's the biggest social liability since Dandruff. Sabrina, we'd like to have a word with you. It's about your taste in friends. Dear, dear Sabrina, we're only trying to help. Take our advice. If you expect to even have a prayer of trying out for the squad, you'll simply have to jettison that Norma creature. Look, I know she's a little weird. Okay, a lot weird. But you just don't throw somebody away because they don't fit the mold. You do if you want to be a JV cheerleader. <laughs> Hi, all. Hey, Sabrina. You want to hang out after school? I think my hermit crab's having twins. Uh, Norma, this is not a good time. Oh, well, okay. Then how about tomorrow? You can help me build the crib. Um, actually, Norma, I'm sort of busy then, too. In fact, I'm going to be kind of busy for a while. You are? Oh, I see. Sure, sure, I understand. Uh, well, let's see ya. You've made the right decision. Yeah! Oh, that's right! Right! 
So anyway, I just don't know if I made the right choice. I mean, is it wrong to go for something you really, really want, even if it, you know, might sort of hurt someone else? I think you already know the answer to that, Sabrina. Wait a minute! Hold on to your broomsticks, folks. I have an idea. What if I could get Norma to try out, too? That would solve all my problems. Huh? Hello, Earth to Sabrina. I think you've got a better chance of getting Hannibal Lecter in the Greendale Chili Fest. But what if I work with her, mold her, do a complete makeover, teach her how to act cool, the works? If the cheerleaders accept Norma, we could still be friends. I could still try out, and I'd be helping her to be more popular. And what if she doesn't want to be more popular? But everybody wants to be popular. Don't you see? I've just been focusing on my own shallow needs when I should have been focusing on her shallow needs. You know, maybe Sabrina's got something with this makeover idea. Then it's settled. First thing tomorrow, we start Operation Norma. But uh, Sabrina... Trust me, Norma, this will change your life. Don't you want that? Uh, I... Of course you do. Now just sit still. <gasps> Sorry, Sabrina. This is worse than we thought. Her geekiness oh. is too overpowering for mortal means. Afraid so. Maybe it's time for more extreme measures. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You know we're not supposed to dip in the spooky jar. We'll get in trouble. We always get in trouble. That's because you always rat us out the second Uncle Quiggly sweats you about anything. Hilda. We're on witch probation. Do you want to stay a teeny bopper forever? Don't you ever want to be green and warty and wrinkled again like we hmm. used to be? Of course I do. Oh, you're right. We better not. Thank you. Now, that's the last I want to hear about the spooky jar. If you'll excuse me, I have homework. Last one of the spooky jar is a rotten dragon egg. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't like to be disturbed while I'm washing my hair. With just a sprinkle, use this spell to make a geek seem really swell. Her popularity all will praise more and more with passing days. Be well. I hate when it does that. Well, how do you like that? I guess even magic can't take the eek out of geek. Oh, well. Well, thanks for trying, guys. Come on, Norma. I'll walk you home. Hey, I like your hair. Gee, thanks. But you could Or maybe he's on his way to get new glasses. Sabrina, Norma? I see you two are still hanging out. Oh, uh, hi. No, I, uh, Norma and I weren't really. How delightful. Norma, where did you get that adorable outfit? It's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, yay! <laughs> you good, girl. And that yeah. hair? You've got to give me the name of your hairdresser. I simply must have those shoes. Huh? The spell, it must be working. She's... She's popular. Hairdresser? What's a hairdresser? Oh, that is so enchanting. Can you show me how to make that delightful sound? What sound? Wow, that spell really works. Hey, looking good. Oh, well, thanks, Harvey. Not you, her. Huh? Hey, Norma, you doing anything Saturday oh. night? Oh. Ow! Sabrina, what is it with you and my shins? Oh, hello, Spellman. Calista, girls, I just finished paying for all your clothes, and... Not now, Jem. Can't you see we're talking to Norma? You're doing what? <laughs> oh, you mean Norma. Wow, she is so cool. What style, what panache, what charisma. You know, this spell could get annoying. Jem, Sabrina, we've come to a decision. It's unanimous. Our new JV squad member will be Norma. Right. Of course, it's only right. She's so totally 
Norma. Wait a minute. I don't want to join any squad without Sabrina. In that case, what can we say? Of course, Sabrina may join too. We'll have to downsize Cheryl. It's only right. Norma, did you hear that? We're both going to be cheerleaders next year. The pinnacle of eighth grade royalty. We didn't even have to try out. Isn't that great? Yeah, I guess. What? Norma! 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 Oh, wow! Look at that! Did you hear what she said? She's totally cool! Right on! Norma. How's it going, Sabrina? How come you're here by yourself? What happened to your mob of screaming fans? I had to get away from the ball. They were driving me crazy. I wish they'd just go away. Go away? But, but you're the most popular kid in the school. Maybe in the country. Everyone wants to be cool like you. Yeah, I've noticed. <sighs> you know, I used to like being me. But now that everyone else is just like me, it's no fun anymore. Norma, don't you understand? Being popular is not about fun. Well, then what is it about? Well, it's about... Uh, ugh, I'm not really sure, but everybody wants it. Well, maybe you do, but I don't. I'm tired of being popular. I just want to be myself. See ya, Sabrina. Norma! 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 Oh, man, Norma, the spell. Norma, it's not exactly what I had in mind. It didn't change Norma. It made everyone else like Norma. What have I done? There, there, Sabrina. Huh? It's not what you've done. It's what <gasps> you haven't done. You haven't become like Norma. Ha Harvey, what's happened to you? You're Norma in pants. Come on, Sabrina. Isn't it time for you to get with the program? You need to be just like Norma too. Join us. Join <gasps> us. Hilda and Zelda, not you too. Can't you do anything to help? Sorry, Sabrina, but you're on the fast track to Normaville. But I don't want to be like Norma. Well, to quote a 12-year-old who's recently blossomed a pumpkin on her head, it's not what you think of yourself, but what everyone else thinks of you. And we think you need to be more like Norma. Hi, Sabrina. Huh? Got any gum? Norma, why are you tied up? Because even she isn't Norma enough. But she is Norma. <sighs> Apparently, I'm last year's Norma. Popularity is a funny thing. Don't worry, Sabrina. Soon you'll be just like everyone else. But I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't even want to be cool. I just want to be me. Me! Huh? Well, hey! What happened? Huh? What's happening? What? 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 Ew! What am I doing at the geek version of the grind? <gasps> I was standing with those icky lesser not pretty people. Oh, so horrible. Geeks? So what geeks? Horrible. It's just me and Norma ourselves, right, Norma? Oh, and Callista, Norma and I don't want to be on the <gasps> JV squad. We found out that we don't need to be like everyone else to be cool. I seem to have lost my ad collection. Would you help me find it? Well, she'd be happy to. I would? Yes. Come on, Norma. I think I found one already. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Hi guys, 
I'll be in my room if anyone needs. <laughs> Dance lessons, because sometimes I just gotta shake my jiggy groove and booty thang. <laughs> Dance lessons, huh? Don't tell Uncle Quigley. Don't tell him what? That you were starting a dog farm under your jacket? He followed me home. His name's Alvin. Can I keep him? Oh, brother, another one. What? Sabrina, you don't have the best track record with pets. You may mean well, but as soon as you get bored, I'm always left to take care of them. Not always. What about pancreas? When was the last time you changed her water? And Hermes the hamster? Two weeks after you got him, you were bored and stopped playing with him. Poor little guy. Wonder what happened to him. Hi, my name is Hermes, and I never got affection growing up. Hi, Hermes. But this is a whole new ball game, I promise. Hmm, he is a cute little guy, but his owners are probably looking for him. I'll put up signs, please. You'd be the best uncle in the nine nether worlds. Look, you scratch his tummy and his leg twitches. Just like Winston Churchill, or so I'm told. Sabrina, pets require long-term constant commitment. I promise I'll train him and feed him and walk him long term. Nobody will even know he's here. Okay, then. But the minute you slack off, young lady, that dog goes to a shelter. I won't let you down. Don't let the dog down. Gee, manay. I just had the worst nightmare. Sabrina came home with, of all awful things, a disgusting, mangy dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully nobody will call. Then you'll be mine forever. Come on, buddy, let's go. <laughs> Game guru? Cool. <laughs> Me? I'm not doing anything. Just sitting here all by myself, bored. <laughs> no, not for doggies. That could do terrible things to. <laughs> what, Harvey? Sure, I'd love to come over. I'll be right there. does miss Maruzak. Alvin, I should probably put you in the kitchen, but Quigley won't notice if you sleep here. Just one. Uh, what's happening to him? 
He's alive. <laughs> He's alive, I tell you. Alive! <laughs> Allegory. Ambush. Hmm. Maybe he's been kidnapped and spirited away to a doggy work farm in upstate New York. Hey, a cat can dream, can't he? I knew I shouldn't have let him sleep up here. Quigley's going to be so mad. Sabrina, I need to talk to you about that pooch of yours. Great job. I'm sorry. I know he's supposed to sleep in the kitchen. I just... Great job. For all the work you've done with that little guy. Why, just this morning, I watched as he let himself in and out the back door with his little tiny puppy whoppy paw. How'd you teach him that? Um... <laughs> well, I don't need to know your secrets. Just keep up the good work. Amazing. Just amazing. I didn't teach him that. Maybe he just picked it up on his own. Dogs are idiot creatures that run around in circles for no apparent reason and munch grass till they vomit. Trust me, they don't just pick up on things. Boy, are you trying to tell me something? What's that? Timmy's in the well? No, actually, it's Salem in the well, and he could use a little bit of help here, please. What are you, a guppy? Pull me out of here! Good boy, Alvin. You saved Salem. Saved me? <laughs> he tried to drown me. What? How do you think I got in there? He picked me up and threw me in. <laughs> he, uh, picked you up? Well, yeah. Shame on you, Salem, trying to frame poor little Alvin. What? That dog's not normal. I'm telling you, he's possessed. Possessed? Don't be ridiculous. You're just jealous. Jealous of a dog? Yeah, right after I staple roller skates to my paws and scoot around making choo-choo noises. You don't fool me, pal. Did you see that? Look what he's doing. I'm ignoring you, Salem. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Busted, stupid mutt. Don't ever laugh at me. You can talk? Yeah! <laughs> Don't believe me, do they? Think I'm just jealous, huh? Don't believe the precious little dog is possessed? Well, I'll prove it to them. <laughs> Greendale Junkyard? What would they be doing? Who's speaking? His name's Alvin, and he's got some radical ideas, I hear. More dogs that can talk? This is my worst nightmare. You know why I've gathered you, brothers? Who in this crowd has been mistreated by the humans? Well, I, yeah, I, I, I got that right. right. Yeah. 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 You, Bosley, tell us what they did to you. Emma, 
My humans never brush me. They never bathe me. I am constantly bitten by the fleas. I feel dirty and unloved. You, Ling Ling. Yeah, they dress me up in these humiliating little outfits. They stick me in front of a TV camera, and they make me sell fast food egg rolls. And what of me, you ask? The worst offense of all. A girl took me home, and I was lost, and she... <laughs> she forgot I existed. She stopped playing with me, and even forgot to feed me. Well, that ends today! The canine race is no longer subject to the cruel whims of humankind. I will lead you, my four-legged brethren, to the mountains where dogs run free and hunting is good. Go with the humans! But our powers are fleeting. Our power of speech derives from a magical totem. Its power will make us strong. Tonight we strike. The spooky jar is going to the dogs. I've got to warn Sabrina. Eep! Get that cat! <laughs> it appears we have a spy in our midst. Get your hands off me, you dang dirty dogs! <laughs> Alvin? Bosley! Bosley! Emma? Here, girl! Mr. Snurdly! Here, boy! Huh? <laughs> What's going on? Someone stole all the dogs in town and looted all the pet stores! Now, calm down, everyone! Where's my dog? My store was broken into and I want to know about it. Um, we're looking into it. Now, in the meantime, the sensible thing to do is to form a posse and hunt down those bandits. Yeah! And here is the leader of the dog-suited bandits. He's possessed. Possessed, possessed, possessed. Oh, no! Salem was telling the truth. Don't hit. Don't hit. I'm feeling fragile at the moment. What happened to you? It's Alvin. He's gone mad. I just barely escaped. He kidnapped Hilda and Zelda and Quigley. But why? He's a dog. Do you need any more explanation than that? Oh. The spooky jar. I had time to lock it all up safe and sound. Safe and sound. <laughs> Safe. It's sound. Hold me. Don't be so pathetic. He wants us to meet at the Tasty Bone Factory with the Spooky Jar. If we ever want to see our family again. fed and played with him, none of this would have happened. Why did I leave the spooky jar out? It's all my fault. I hate to say it, but I told you so. You don't hate it, you love it. Guilty as charged. Let's go. Mm. Wait, Ow! me? I'm not going back there. You got out. I need you to show me the way back in. No, I'd sooner die a thousand lingering painful deaths than face those horrible, slavering canine monsters. I'll give you a ball of yarn. Hmm. Okay. Looks like the 
those two are the only dogs on guard. Cover me. With what? Here, a dog treat. Blech, <laughs> lamb and rice? I'm just saying, you gotta ask yourself, is sniffing each other really the best method of saying hello? Uh, interesting point, uh, interesting. I mean, yeah, why couldn't we just shake hands or something? Really makes you wonder, Fluffy. That it does, Scraps. Yeah, that it does. Hey, where you going? Oh, man! Beef and liver flavor! <laughs> Sabrina, I've been expecting you. Tito, Bosley, apprehend her! Geranium! <laughs> Salem, what were you thinking? Oh, don't overwhelm me with your gratitude all at once there. You tried to fool me! How dare you! You're not getting the spooky jar. Then you're not getting your freedom. Why are you doing this? We're sick of the way you people treat dogs. The way you take us for granted, forget to feed us, treat us like objects. We have feelings too, you know. But Alvin... And you're no different. Getting so caught up in your life that you ignored me. Just like my original owners leaving me at the park. All I want is for someone to love me. I didn't mean anything by it, Alvin. I'm so sorry. You're the cutest, sweetest dog ever. You mean that? Well, it's too late. I'm serious. The way you jumped in my lap the first time we met, you were so trusting, and I let you down. Got that right. But that's why people like dogs so much. You're forgiving and kind and loving, and you're our best friends. What's going on? The spell must be fueled by Alvin's feelings. If she makes him remember what it's like being a dog, it will go away. Sabrina, it's working. It's working. Make him remember being a dog. But it's true. It's my fault. Alvin, will you forgive me? I... I love you. Really? You do? police car and make the siren go woo? Really? You're not toying with me like last time. No, I'm in a generous mood today. <laughs> Come on, Alvin. Let's go home. <laughs> Come on, you flea barge. Throw me the stinking ball. Alvin! I found you, Flyer. Oh, thank you so much. My husband and I have been looking for him ever since he got lost in the woods. So you didn't just leave him? Oh, 
not on your life. We searched for days. I love him more than you can imagine. I know how you feel. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, you know, I will too. Good, because I'm thinking about getting another dog. Over my dead, festering body. <laughs> 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 da -da -da -da.